Welcome, my darlings. This is going to be the all signs, no communication. How is the person feeling about you um, and their next likely action? Okay, guys, so we're going to be starting from Aries, going all the way to Pisces. Okay, the timestamps should be down below. Um, and if not, please help me out by putting your the timestamps um depending on when this video uploads i have no clue okay so let's get into it this is for aries let's see how is aries uh love interest feeling about them during no communication this person is feeling like a five of pentacles reverse they are feeling like the queen of wands Justice, Knight of Cups, and bottom of the deck is the Page of Cups. So you could be con connected to a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. Um, we also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. We also have Libra, okay? So it feels like Aries, this person does want to come out of no communication with you. I feel like at this point, it's getting old to them. They're tired of being away from you, not talking. Um they do feel like they want to actually come and make a gesture here and communicate and i'm also getting some kind of uh, apology from this person or an explanation okay so they do plan to come at you romantically and sweet and putting their heart on the line and things like that um they are going to bring justice okay they do want to take initiative that's the biggest thing i'm picking up from this um some of you maybe they want you to reach out and take this initiative if you screwed them over um, but if not, I do feel like this is someone who's going to take initiative, Aries, okay? Some of you, the reason why you guys are in separation may have been due to, like, something externally, okay? A circumstantial type of thing. Maybe something's going on with this person, their life, or their issues cause them to separate themselves from you and kind of be cold. But, yeah, this person's already in the energy of wanting to, like, communicate with you and talk to you, Aries. So that's good. And they're showing up like apologetic, like they want to explain things to you. So what is this person's next likely actions towards uh, Aries, which I mean, we basically already know, but all right, Aries. So we have the four of pentacles. What is this person's likely action towards Aries, please? You do have the Ace of Wands. So this person does plan to improve their communication. Okay, they do plan to do the best that they can do here. I do feel like for some of you, maybe this person kind of works a lot and they spend their time focusing on that, which is something that is very frustrating. But I, I do get this, this feeling that they're going to try to compromise or to be more open, um, with their communication style. Okay, so yeah, they are gonna come here and try to work on the connection with you, Aries. Okay. What else do we have for Aries, please, Aries? Aries. What do we have for Aries? All right, so we do have warning, don't dismiss the red flag. So again, Aries, maybe this person could do a little bit better with their communication or whatever your situation is with this freak, basically. Um, just make sure that you are making sure that they're walking their talk and they're walking in a straight line, okay? And that they're being consistent, okay? Uh, make sure their words are matching, um, their actions are matching their words, okay? All right, Aries, so that's what I have for you. That is how your person's feeling about you during their communication. And this is the next likely action that they will take, okay? So we are going to be moving on to Taurus. All right, this is for Taurus. How is uh, Taurus's love interest feeling about them during no communication? Okay, so this person's missing you a lot. So the cups flew out into my hand. Ooh, this person misses you a lot, a lot. Their heart is breaking without you, Taurus. Their heart is breaking without you. Aw. 
Yeah, they, they're at a loss without you, Taurus. That's just how this person's feeling about you. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, energy here, Virgo, Gemini, this magician. Okay, um, they're feeling very, very heartbroken. Okay, that doesn't necessarily mean that you broke their heart or that there's anything going on, but they are grieving you. They are grieving you. And I'm also getting that some of you are going through a... How, how, what is it called? Like when you're like going through a grievance, like you may have even lost someone. Like maybe your spouse died or you're a widow or whatever. I feel like this message is coming from them on the other side. And basically they're telling you that like they could feel your loss and they feel a loss too. Um, and they miss you very, very, very much. You know, it's hard for them to even move on or, you know, to um, transition and things like that. But um, that's what I'm getting for this person. That is, that's not everyone's message, that one part. This person is li literally um, on the verge of like, I don't know what this person would do. They're missing you so badly, Taurus. Um, they're very nostalgic over you. It's like they probably listen to a lot of love songs. And every time they hear a love song, they just break down and cry. This person's really sad right now. Um, they feel an immense loss over you. And the Five of Cups can be obviously referring to some kind of guilt they have as well. For some of you. All right. So what is the next likely action that this person will take towards Taurus, please? What is the next likely action this person is going to take towards Taurus? Page of Cups. Yeah, this person is going to reach out any day now, Taurus. Any day now. And I feel like when they reach out, they're being very blunt. Yeah, they're being very blunt. This could definitely be um, an air sign or an Aquarius, but this person's coming at you being very blunt. They're laying it all on their line. They're telling you exactly how they feel. They're not holding anything back. You know, it's like them just having an outburst. Like, look, I miss you. Okay, I can't do this. I can't be without you. Or, you know, I can't go another day not talking to you. And this person's coming at you really, really um, blunt, sharp. Not in a bad way. It's just they really want you to know how they feel about you right now. Okay? So even before you know it, they are going to reach out and express themselves to you, Taurus. Okay? So let's get a message for the Taurus, please. All right. So Taurus, it does say this is true love. Okay? Uh, this love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Yeah, this person's going to have like an outburst towards you, Taurus, because their feelings for you are so strong. Um, they're they're overwhelmed, completely overwhelmed by just the memories of you two together. And I'm hearing like they just they think about certain things you've said or certain songs that maybe you guys listen to together. Um, this person is completely like reminiscing. Okay. They got it. They got it bad when they on the phone. <laughs> All right, moving on to Gemini. This is for Gemini. Tell me, uh, Spirit, for Gemini's person during no communication, how is Gemini's love interest feeling about them during no communication? Gemini. How is Gemini's love interest feeling about them during no communication? Gemini. Aw, two of cups. Uh, Gemini, they're feeling like they um, they really feel like they want to connect with you right now, Gem. This person's feeling like really, like they're looking forward to seeing you again, reconnecting with you, talking to you, um, maybe even expressing how they feel towards you, um, Gemini. But I feel like they're, they really want to see you face to face. That's how they're feeling. Like they might want to just have a heart to heart talk with you in person. That's what they're really dying and yearning for, Gem. Like they really want to connect with you. I'm hearing this person's really emotional. Like they're just over the top emotional about you. They may have even been crying. Um, it, but it could have even be like tears of joy. Like this person's really... They could even be nervous to um to, to tell you how they feel or whatever. But this person, um, they're planning, they're definitely planning a face-to-face -face, uh chat. 
Anything else about, uh, so what is this person's uh, intentions, please? What action are they likely to take towards Gemini? What action are they likely to take here? Okay. So we have the Magician, the um, the Three of Cups. So this person definitely intends, I feel like they may ask you out on a date. That's what they're going to do. They want to ask you out on a date. Um, we'll get together, invite you. Maybe if you guys have friends together that you, whatever, or a place that you guys met at or know each other from or whatever, they may invite you over there. Okay, they may invite you and say, hey, you want to come out and let's grab a drink together or let's do this. Or when really it's really just their way of trying to reconnect with you and maybe see where your mind, your heart, and your head is at with them. Okay, but this person definitely got it bad. All right, final message for Gemini. What do you really want Gemini to know about this connection? Gemini. So um, you have forgiveness. Forgiving yourself or another will help you to move forward. That's what they really want you to know. Okay, and then bottom of that, we do have second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance. All right, Jim. So that is what I have for you. That is how your person's feeling. They're definitely looking forward to speaking to you, talking to you, connecting with you. The person loves you a lot. Um, and before you know it, I feel like you guys are going to see each other face to face and have a heart to heart talk. Okay. <laughs> um, even if it's just like just inviting you out. Um, this could even be like a secret admirer, someone who's just um, hasn't even made their feelings known to you yet, okay? It could be a bit of guilt and shame for those of you who know this person, you have like history with them or something, okay? All right, moving on to Cancer. I was Cancer's love and trust feeling about them during no communication. How is Cancer's person feeling about them during no communication, Cancer? How's Cancer's person feeling about them during no communication, please, Cancer? Hmm. So it feels like this person could be dealing with a Leo. We do have um, Pisces energy here. How's the person feeling about Cancer during no communication? Eight of Swords. I feel like this person, they really do want to reach out to you. That's what I'm feeling. But they're doing their best to hold back. It's almost like this person feels like they're going to get rejected. And maybe some of you wouldn't reject this person. But they have a fear you're going to reject them. You're going to say no or something. But yeah, we do have Pisces, another Cancer, Leo. I am also getting Virgo. Taurus or Capricorn, okay? Some of you could be in a new relationship, okay? Or something like that. And they know that you've released them already, okay? So maybe that's what they already know. You're going to say no, you know? There's nothing else for them to do. I feel like they definitely want to keep however they feel to themselves right now. They don't want to share that. Let's clarify this... Uh, Eight of Swords. This person secretly still desires you. This could definitely be a Leo. It's a very strong Leo placement. Okay, for the person, if not. But this person is really desiring you. They're very passionate about you at this point in time. But there's a part of them that's very controlled. Like they have self-control. And they know they got to hold back for X, Y, Z reason. Okay, some of them, maybe they just know you have somebody. Or you're dating someone. Or they just know you're going to reject them. Or something like that. Okay, or maybe this person's in a relationship and as bad as they want you or as bad as they find you attractive or something like that, they know they got to hold back because of that relationship. I do feel this person still finds you very attractive and they are definitely still like sexually attracted to you as well. All right, so tell me about what is the um, likely action from this person towards cancer, please? What is the likely action? You have the hermit. Yeah, it seems like this person is going to do a lot of thinking. 
But at the same time, it's like, I just don't necessarily see them taking action. You know, the Hermit definitely talks about them still being ducked off. I feel like this person would want to rebuild their relationship with you or try for a relationship or something like that. But at the same time, again, they just know that you're not going to go for it. Yeah, I don't really think this person is going to take action. I just feel like they're thinking about it a lot and they want, but wanting and thinking is different from actually taking action and doing, okay? So what do you want Cancer to know about this connection, Cancer? So it is telling you to release. Radical acceptance and, sur and surrender can help you to let go, okay? You have acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. All right, moving on to Leo. See, how does Leo's person feel about them during no communication? Leo's love interest, please. So they feel like the five of swords, the fool. Yeah, so this person definitely feels like to hell with it. I'm going to be very blunt with you. Um, perhaps they feel defeated by you or if they're not defeated by you, like you didn't tell them to go screw off, they feel like they just want you to want to tell you to go screw off, to be honest. Um, I feel like you and this person have bad blood or bad energy between each other. We probably got into a nasty fight, nasty breakup. Um, or this person really left a bad taste in your mouth or vice versa. But it just feels like this person is just like, fuck it. I'm just going to be completely blunt with you. Um, fuck it. It's like, I feel like this person has accepted whatever has transpired, whatever has happened. They're in this energy of acceptance and they're just moving forward with their life, to be very honest with you. Okay. This could definitely be an Aquarius, a Libra, a Gemini. Okay, this can also be um, an Aries. But I just feel like someone's like whatever. The fools are like a real carefree whatever energy. So to be honest, they really don't care right now. They don't, they're not affected. They're just moving on. Um... So what is the likely action of this person towards Leo? I don't feel like they're going to take any action, to be honest. Yeah, we have the Hermit. This person's not going to take any action. Um, I feel like they're going to just leave what you guys have in the past. They're just going to completely just leave this alone. I don't feel like they're going to take any action. Uh, matter of fact, it seems like they're very strong in their convictions. They're very strong in their decision. Um... They're not going to change your mind or something like that, okay? This person is going to remain ducked off for the foreseeable future, guys. All right, anything you want to tell Leo about this connection? All right, Leo, so you have release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you to let go, okay? You have detached with love to clearly see the truth. Um, so if you're wondering, does this person still want me? Does my ex still want me? Do, do they want? No. And I know that sounds fucked up, but truth be told, with these cards, this person is just, they're just not caring right now. They're saying to hell with this shit. Okay. That's what they're saying. All right. So that is what I have for you, Leo. We are moving forward here into Virgo. All right, this is for Virgo. How is Virgo's love interest feeling about them during no communication? Okay, so this person is feeling like the Seven of Wands. So this person feels as though, I definitely feel this is someone who placed some kind of boundaries against you. Okay, or maybe you put boundaries with them. But this person feels like they're doing the right thing by getting a divorce from you if you're married, um, breaking up with you, staying away from you, um, leaving you alone or something like that. They feel like they did the right thing by whatever happened. So there's no regret in this person's heart whatsoever about what has transpired or what will happen. 
okay because king of swords and justice can definitely be indicative of a divorce so if divorce is on the table they don't regret that one bit they actually want to go through with that they want to push that through um it does feel like this person is creating boundaries against you like they're trying to keep you away from them they're trying to get you to understand something or put you in your place okay that's really what i'm feeling here okay Maybe you both are like this with each other. You're both like, okay, you know, you probably hate each other at this point. I know hate is a strong word, but I feel like you both are in this real de detached energy. So that's how they're feeling. Very defensive, um, very guarded, very like, leave me alone or stay away from me. Or I feel like I'm doing the right thing or, you know, because they're in this energy of thinking that this is what's best for them. Okay. Could be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay. I'm also getting Leo, Taurus. All right. So what is it like the action this person will take towards Virgo? They're going to take the uh, Three of Swords, the Moon. Yeah, this I feel like this person is definitely going to go through with something after a lot of thought or whatever they're going to stand on their decision um to end things to break up to divorce uh, to stay separated or something like that virgo okay i don't see this person taking any action other than like if you guys are in a relationship unfortunately the resource would um talk about a breakup happening um you know or divorce happening here unfortunately guys okay So what do you want uh, Virgo to know, please, about this situation? You have warning, don't dismiss the red flags here. Okay, I'm hearing some of you could be even in a relationship and this person probably feels really trapped with you or they feel like they want out of the relationship. Um, so that's that's another warning, okay? All right, so that is what I have for you, Virgo. That is how they're feeling and their likely action towards you next. So let's see, moving on to Libra. How is Libra's love interest feeling about them during no communication, please? How is Libra's love interest feeling about them during no communication? So Libra, this person definitely feels as though they want to reach out here. Similar to the reading I just did for you, this person wants a second chance with you or they want a chance. I am getting this to be like a new person, okay? But if not, either way, again, this person definitely wants to reach out. And because the Three of Pentacles is here and the Judgment, it feels as though this person is in a serious energy. Um, they are looking to rebuild or to start something with you to build um, a relationship with you, um, Libra. This could be a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio, okay? We do also have a little fire energy here, more specifically, maybe a Sagittarius. Okay, but this person is feeling like perhaps they even want to compromise with you. Maybe they feel like they want to, uh, if this, if this was an ex, maybe they feel like you guys can solve your problems by going to therapy, couples counseling, marriage counseling, that type of thing. Maybe they even want to communicate some good news about their progress, what they've done to fix their problems. That way they can be better for you in this connection. Okay, but this person is definitely feeling pulled to um, definitely have a relationship with you or try for that. They definitely still have romantic feelings for you. This person has a lot of romantic feelings for you. And it and it feels like they want to follow their heart, like their dreams are leading them to you. Libra. This person's feeling like really emotional and like they're in an expressive energy. Where they really just want to like express themselves to you emotionally and compromise or do whatever it takes to try to have a relationship with you. Now, if this is a new person, I feel like either way, they, they they do want to continue to get to know you, okay, maybe even come see you um, and try to build a relationship with you. That's what they want. All right, so what is the likely action from this person to Libra? 
What is the likely action that this person will take towards Libra? Okay, the sun, the lovers, Gemini energy, Leo energy. So this person is definitely intending to make you an offer here, Libra. They're probably going to offer you a relationship. Um, they're going to offer you something solid here. Or at least that's what they're trying to accomplish here. Or they just want to be in full alignment with you, Libra. That's what it feels like, okay? So you would have to probably make a major choice. Some of you could already be in a relationship or whatever. But a major choice will need to be made for some of you. So what do you really want Libra to know? And that's why this person... If you guys had communication issues, they want to improve on that and they want to listen to you more. They want to be more attentive towards you, especially from an emotional perspective. So they want you to know that patience, everything will unfold in divine timing. Okay, you have time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity. And things are definitely becoming very clear to this person during separation. Okay. And they are in this energy to where they want... They are in this energy to where they want. It's my daughter, guys. <laughs> they are in this energy to where they really want to bring clarity, okay, and have a proper relationship with you. Maybe, you know, this the time the separation has opened their eyes to a lot of things they weren't paying attention to before, that they didn't know before, okay, is what I'm getting. All right. So we are now moving on to Scorpio. All right, how Scorpio's love interest feeling about them during no communication? Scorpio. How Scorpio's love interest feeling about them during no communication? Scorpio. So Scorpio, you do have the hangman. Okay, so this person's feeling at a loss right now, Scorpio. Who pulled this similar reading? I believe it was Taurus pulled like this energy. But we do have Pisces strongly here, and we also have Virgo. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Virgo. But this person in particular, um, Scorpio, looks like they've been doing a lot of thinking, a lot of reflecting. They feel kind of disappointed. This could be in themselves or when it comes to the connection. Um, it could feel like a loss to them. And they could really be feeling pretty down on their luck right now, uh, Scorpio. There is an energy of them being uncertain about the outcome, uncertain about what's going on here or how things are going to progress. They're uncertain about maybe the relationship with you or something like that. Okay. Okay. This person, it feels like they're trying to get some type of clarity or answers. Maybe they feel like you guys needed to separate in order for them to see things clearly. Um, sometimes a little separation can help, okay? Especially if this was like a breakup or a marriage. I feel like this person's trying to get a different perspective. They're trying to get some type of answers or enlightenment in some way, shape, or form. That's how they're feeling right now. So what is uh, the likely action of this person towards Scorpio? Okay, so it seems like this person could be an Aquarius. Um, hmm. I wonder what happened here. Yeah, so whoever this person you're in no communication with is very likely they're either a water sign or an earth sign or an Aquarius, could even be a Sagittarius. But yeah, it seems like this person intends to have a really honest conversation with you. I feel like they're definitely going to lay it on the table and be very blunt with you, very honest. I do feel like an ultimatum could be given here for relationships. I feel like there will be, like, forgiveness, but it just seems like 
someone who has their defenses all the way up. Okay. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. It seems like one part of them wants to try to like mend things while another part of them wants to just move on from this. I just feel like someone's had enough. They're really exhausted in the connection, really um, wounded, okay? But I do feel like eventually there will be a conversation. It, it could go either way, unfortunately, because I feel like someone's like, should I stay or go? And Yeah, you would need to get a personal reading for this part, okay, guys? <laughs> if you want to know for sure, like, where your situation is going to go. This is just about their likely action here and how they're feeling. This feels like for some of you, maybe they just can't get over what has happened here. There's too much water under the bridge. It seems like this person can't stop thinking about what you did or what happened or they just feel like, there's no coming back from this in a way. So what do you want Scorpio to know about the situation? Integrity. Does the situation align with your values and your morals? That's what you need to ask yourself. All right, moving on. This is for Sagittarius. What is Sagittarius love interest feeling for them during no communication? What is Sagittarius love and trust feeling for them during no communication? The hangman. Can we dealing with a Scorpio? So this person, to be honest, is feeling like this is a high risk, low reward. Seems like they're losing faith or trust in this situation. There could be some trust issues, but it seems like they're just not really expecting much out of this um they feel like this could be even a waste of time or they're just having they're also having trouble seeing the benefits of the situation anymore they probably just don't see it working out um they could even have trust issues to where they just don't trust that it will work period okay pisces taurus cancer energy Aquarius energy. I feel like this person is like, maybe they feel like all you guys do is talk. It's casual. Okay, perhaps this person just wants like some conversation, something casual for others of you. If the trust issue situation rings true for you. I also feel like this person, like for relationships, the spark may be kind of waning off and they're starting to feel a bit apathetic, bored, or like thinking that this relationship is not meeting their needs. Um, maybe they just, maybe you guys just need to inject some passion in some way, shape or form. Okay, so what is this person's likely action towards Sagittarius? The Two of Swords, the Strength card. This person's really uncertain about a future with you. They're uncertain about this in general. I feel like for some of you, this person even wants more. Like they want more than just conversations and just, you know, these little meetups or whatever. Like this person can see a future with you, but they probably just don't believe that they're going to be able to obtain that with you. You know, maybe you're the one who's not really interested in a relationship right now or getting back together with this person or something. It seems like this person's holding back. Um, that's their likely action. Like they, they, it's like they're at a, they're conflicted between their mind and their heart. They're, they're just conflicted overall. And I see them staying like that for quite some time. And they could even be feeling like, confused just they have all these feelings of confusion uncertainty um you know they, they do feel a bit pessimistic about where things are going or how things are right now a bit of a negative energy here 
What do you want Sagittarius to know about the situation? You have old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. You have find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. Okay. All right, so what do we have for Capricorn? How's Capricorn's love interest feeling about them during no communication, Capricorn? They feel like justice, okay? Ten of Swords, the Four of Swords. I'm getting this person feels upset. Like, I feel like if you were to contact them or something, like, they probably would really fly off the handle towards you. Or they're just really holding a grudge towards you in a way, like, it does feel who pulled the same energy. Virgo. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Or a Leo. Or a Libra. A Gemini. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Strong here. These are all air cards. But this person feels like they did the right thing, to be honest, by like breaking up with you, divorcing you, uh, being in the process of getting a divorce. <sighs> You know, they feel the right, they feel like they did the right thing by just maybe stop talking to you. Okay. I feel like maybe there was like a lot of um, problems in this relationship or connection, or there was like a really big betrayal or scandal or something. Okay. And they just probably feel like at this point you've hurt them so much um, that they just can't take, they just, they're done. They can't take anymore. They need to be away from you. Um, the Knight of Swords always comes off to me as like a energy of like being ready to kind of like attack, being ready to curse somebody out, you know? So they could be feeling pretty triggered, pretty upset with you um, right now in this energy. Capricorn. I'm also getting this person probably still thinks about what you did or what you said to them. But either way, it, it does feel like this person has no regrets or remorse um, towards what's going on here. They feel like it's in their best interest or it's what's right. Okay. Um, perhaps you both feel like it's best to just separate. Now, let's say the roles are reversed and they hurt you. I feel like this person still has it in their mind that they were right. That they did the right thing and they will defend that to the very end even if they're not they think they're right what is this person's likely action towards capricorn the fool yeah this person they're not gonna take any action they're gonna just move forward from this capricorn to be very honest with you could be dealing with a scorpio or an aries they're going to just move forward. I feel like you left a bad taste in this person's mouth or, you know, whatever transpired. It seems like this person's ab like it's above this person now and that they feel as though they deserve better. For those of you, if you actually did hurt this person or whatever this five of swords was about here. Okay. It could have been, you know, an action or what someone said to the other person. But it just seems like this person is going to move on with their life. They're putting this completely behind them, putting putting this to an end, and they're moving on. They feel like, and they feel good about moving on from this, cutting this off, as harsh as this sounds, guys, I'm sorry. But they feel a sense of, like, confidence and satisfaction about this, that they're making the right choice and decision. If this is like an old ex, an old breakup, to be honest, they feel like they did the right thing by breaking up with you and staying away. Especially if there was infidelity. Um, it seems like this person's moved on. They've accepted whatever has happened here and they're moving on. All right, what do you want Capricorn to know, please? They say detach with love to clearly see the truth, Capricorn, okay? All right. Or I'm also getting if they chose somebody else, they're in a new relationship, you know, they don't have any regrets about that. You know, they 
They feel like they're, they did the right thing. Okay. Um, or maybe if you chose somebody else, you decided to do something else. I just feel like this person, they probably are very upset with you, but at the same time, they're just moving on about it. All right, moving on. This is for Aquarius. All right, this is for Aquarius. How is Aquarius um, love interest feeling about them during no communication, please? How is Aquarius' love interest feeling about them during no communication? How's Aquarius' love interest feeling about them during no communication? Aquarius. How are they feeling about Aquarius during no communication? Aquarius. So, you have the Page of Cups. How's Aquarius' love interest feeling about them during no communication? Aquarius. So it does feel like Aquarius, this person definitely wants to reach out to you, okay? And they are going to take initiative. I feel like this person's been hoping that you would take initiative. Who pulled this? Aries, you could be dealing with an Aries or someone who has Aries in their chart, okay? But this person feels like they want to take initiative to reach out, okay? And they want to send you a message here. They will be. How's Aquarius's love interest feeling about them during no communication? Aquarius. I'm also getting this person, like, they really want to check on you, see how you're doing. Okay. How's Aquarius person feeling about them during no communication? Aquarius. How's Aquarius person feeling about them during no communication, please? It does feel like this person's like a little shy or something like that. A little nervous to talk to you. How's Aquarius this person feel about them during no communication? How are they feeling, um, spirit? You have the sun. You get one more card. How's Aquarius' love interest feeling about them during no communication? Aquarius. They may even feel like they want to like deliver some kind of apology here as well. I'm hearing some of you, like, you could be pregnant. Maybe they want to check on the baby. Okay. <laughs> or if they're pregnant, you know, they want to give you good news about the baby. But overall, it, it does feel like this person wants to see how you're doing, like, check up on you. There is a little bit of regret here. A little, this person's, like, really nervous as well to talk to you. They are. Okay, perhaps they want to apologize for something they said or did. It feels like this person doesn't want to be on bad terms with you. They want to at least be on like amicable terms with you, if anything, if nothing else. They probably feel guilty or shame or regretful for, you know, um, I don't know, something they said to you even, something they did. So what is this person's next likely action towards Aquarius, please? What is this person's likely actions towards Aquarius? You do have the Magician. So they're going to try to pull some strings here, Aquarius, because it does feel like this person definitely like misses you. They're going to try to um, achieve some harmony with you. That's what they're going to do. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, 
Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, like yourself, Virgo. They're probably going to try to their best song and dance to like improve the bond, improve a relationship with you, be on good terms with you. But this is someone who wants to be in your life regardless if you take them back or not. And they probably would be okay with being friends with you. What is this person's likely action towards Aquarius? You have the Ace of Swords. So yeah, so they're here to definitely try to improve communication, Aquarius. Again, they're going to try their best to sway you to mend things. That way you can have a new beginning in love with each other. But if not, I think that what's also most important to them is just being in each other's life, having a good relationship. I feel like this is someone that you could definitely have a friendship with if, she, if nothing else, okay? Okay, what do you want Aquarius to know about that situation? Apology, you can expect the apology that you want to hear, okay? All right, last but not least, we have Pisces. How is Pisces person feeling about them during no communication? Six of Pentacles, Eight of Coins. How is Pisces person feeling about them during no communication? Pisces, I do feel like this is probably someone who hasn't really been that nurturing towards you. They haven't been that attentive um, or loving towards you. For XYZ reason, you could be pregnant. They could be pregnant. I don't know. Um, you guys could be married, but I feel like this person, they could be dealing with a Libra, a Pisces. No, then you could be dealing with a Libra, um, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, also Leo. Um, I'm also getting Aquarius. But yeah, this person wants to, they're feeling generous. They feel like they want to be more open with their time, their love, affection towards you. Maybe they feel like they want to give you some type of um, uh, monetary support, okay? But yeah, I'm get, definitely picking up on this energy of them wanting to be more loving and catering to you, Pisces. Okay, they definitely um, want to like dedicate themselves to you. Um, okay, they feel like you deserve it as well, Pisces. That's why I keep hearing like they feel like you deserve it. Perhaps they're in this energy of wanting to pamper you as well, take you shopping, do nice things for you, Pisces. Okay, I definitely feel like some of you could be pregnant. But this person definitely wants to bring proper balance to the situation. That's what they're feeling. So what is this person's intentions with Pisces? What action are they likely to take towards Pisces, please? You do have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, this person wants to bring you security and stability here, Pisces. That's their goal here. That's what their like next likely action is to do. And I feel like they are going to step up. Page of Pentacles and the Emperor flew out. They are going to step up. This could be the father of your child, I'm hearing. Or the mother of your child. You guys definitely could have children together. This could even be like a twin flame connection. We do have Emperor and the Empress here. Okay. But um, this person is definitely going to try to be more reliable, more stable. They definitely want to like give you all you need and more like i'm getting this person wants to spoil you and just really fulfill you and um do things to make you happy okay whatever that means if <laughs> they gotta get your money they gotta take you out more buy you this buy you that they gotta just cook for you more touch you more have sex with you more. i don't know guys <laughs> then they're willing to do it this is a really good reading so what do you want prices to know about this situation Uh, I feel like they want to share their abundance with you, Pisces, is what I'm hearing. Okay. So you have patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. You have trust. It is safe to trust in this situation. Okay. Even if it's just to help you out around the house, uh, watch the kids more often, you know what I'm saying? And even if you don't have any children or any relationship, I think this person wants to create more time for you um, and be more generous with you, Pisces, okay? 
all right so that's what i have i hope you guys enjoyed this reading thank you all for tuning in be sure to hit the like button if you did and i will talk to you all soon